Hi YouTubers and thank you for tuning into the dice, well, meteorological video on YouTube. Well, it seems like that, well, I don't know what to really um, think of as being a meteorological video because it seems like that just anywhere on my YouTube channel I could just pump up random videos of light. But in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a forecast because apparently I can definitely feel that the air is not looking warm it's actually feeling like it's going to give me the complete and utter cold shoulder now i think i've actually just missed to make two videos i think it was back in september and october when october decided to become very much cold and give me a bit of a a cold hearted moment as if it was freezing cold and not the other definition but in this video i'm going to be talking about of just how cold is it going to be. Now, tell you what, there might be some snow in the cards. Get ready for a real treat for what I'd probably say is a bit of a preamble to a white Christmas, although I'd probably say very highly unlikely. Well, here's the weather forecast of what's going to be happening for, of course, yes, this week. And you can see tomorrow is the beginning of just how freezing it is. 8 degrees to about minus 2 degrees. That's basically the same temperature if you're going to be um, playing a bit of ice skating. And there you go, Saturday, minus 1 degrees. It's just completely terrible. I mean, that's a complete joke. You know, I used to remember saying that very, very good old catchphrase, or very bad old catchphrase. You know that catchphrase that always gets me all the time? In fact, I'm going to yell outside. Before I can continue. And just how freezing cold it is outside, I just don't know what to really say. You know, there's the all saying, Oh, that's just great, I'm released all that hot air and that's trapped with nowhere to go. But, um, that really doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Maybe I should try and think of a much, much better derogatory uh, catchphrase. Because I feel like that catchphrase has been retired after a good, decent, um... I would just say, it's been like a long time I haven't used that catchphrase. It's crazy, isn't it? Because I remember using it back in 2019. And funnily enough, I've actually been using it for about two and a half years. You know, three years of light, you know. How strange would it be? It's been quite absurd to think, you know, will I be able to use that catchphrase again? I don't think so. Actually, outside it is freezing cold outside, and not just that. Um, of course, yes, we've got the cars going by here. Don't have to film that too much. I'm not sure if I could film it very perfectly. Sorry about the finger that's actually straight towards my camera here, but what I can see at the bottom is it's surprisingly it's very dark. Let me just turn on the light for a while so I can show you the atmosphere properly. There's another car drifting off here. And there's so many cars here. How am I going to make a much decent video on YouTube? Uh, okay. Let's let's just do a jump cut, shall we? Oh? Okay, I've got lots of cars outside here. It's drizzling outside. So, what I was actually saying was, was that there were a couple of foxes outside last night. Real foxes, of course, around midnight, I think. And apparently, what was... Completely strange was, there was some sort of rotten piece of burrito that was actually outside and the foxes were going ballistic and a bit crazy. In the sense that they were just searching out for food, you know, just to fatten themselves up for the winter that were going to be coming up. But in the meantime, it's still late autumn, as I can hear the leaves crinkling and creaking, you know. In the wind, of course, and I can definitely feel like it is freezing cold. I've just rolled up my sleeves because I've actually wet in my, my sweater. But anyways, let me just go ahead and show you the weather forecast. Without getting my finger on the camera. And even me. Why am I actually, you know, filming here with my face? That's just weird, isn't it? Okay, let's be very relevant here. We've got Lum as the major cursor anime character. So, tonight it's just going to be wet, but of course, yes, as you can see, it's going to turn a little bit temporarily um, a bit better, but it's not really that better, because as we're going up towards winter, 7 degrees, 4 degrees, it's just really 
pathetic, really. It's that very most pathetic time of the year. But Christmas will come along and save the day, you know. So there you go, there's Black Friday, Saturday, of course. And as I'm making this video, it is Thanksgiving. I would like to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you American people. You know, for those who live in the United States of America, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I'm sorry I didn't make any Thanksgiving related products um, so far of the of this year. Probably because I was just trying to steer clear of a way of just getting too much into America, of course. And um, in a sense, uh, continuing with the weather forecast, uh, it's going to be light rain on Sunday, but look at the temperatures. They're just going, they're not really going up to double figures, it's just single figures. But at least they're just, you know, not really below. And what's even more bone chilling is, is that if you go towards next week, Look at that, it's going to be bitterly, bitterly cold on the wings. And there is some potentiality of having snow. Dun, dun, dun! But of course, yes, that's how it works. Because, hey, it's winter time in the Northern Hemisphere, as I'm making this video. And apparently that's what it is. It's going to be freezing cold at that time. But let's take a look at the monthly outlook. And see what outcome do we have. Oh, look, there's the TARDIS here. And apparently Doctor Who is celebrating its 60th anniversary. That's pretty cool, hey? That's interesting. There's a lot of Doctor Who related stuff, hey? You know, I could really say, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate! You know, I'm just kind of thinking about that, you know, but hey. Okay, let's not go ahead and look at those because, you know, and even these news reports because that's going to make my YouTube videos a little bit, well, too far beyond appropriate for what I've got. Well, there's a weather forecast for Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. That's nice. I want to have a look at it. It's funny as it sounds. I'm going to have a look at those random forecasts later on in this video. But in the meantime, I'm going to go to the monthly outlook. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So, turning colder for a time, uncertain in December. And, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what to really say about this again. It's not looking great. But what I do think that this weather forecast, you know, this cold snap, you know, during Christmas time will probably last until, let's just say, I don't know, just slightly milder. And there could be a wet, weather pattern in all regions, and it will generally feel be feeling a lot but more a lot more windy than normal but not extreme. So I'm probably thinking that maybe around early to mid December. Well mid December I'm probably guessing we're gonna have, you know, um slightly milder temperatures. But you know, it seems like it seems like to be the whole thing about climate change and whatnot and you know, people just you know, that's the whole thing with, with, with human beings, that's just, uh, I'm sorry to say this, this, this really is what it is. And I mean, you know, when I look at this, I honestly do think this is all down to climate change. But anyways, um, yes, I feel like, yeah, everything is all down to climate change, I'm sorry to say that. But of course, yes, I won't go too deep into this, because obviously that's what's going to be happening this week, but and also next week as well. So that's my office chair. And of course, yes, by two weeks' time, it's going to be quite uncertain whether we're going to have snow or mild temperatures. It's going to be quite difficult. As you can see, yes, we've got some very cold air coming along here. I don't know to don't know to actually um, read that, and it actually is going to be quite you know. Interesting to say that, uh, hi, this weather forecast really is spreading such conspiratorial rumours about, you know, getting off your, your, your slides, your toboggans, your sleds and stuff, dreaming of a white Christmas. Well, I'm not sure how cold is it going to be, but, you know, it seems like that this year's autumn has been quite interesting. And funnily enough, yes, we all do, we all do know that, it's going to be quite the contrast, because, you know, um, I don't know what to really say, but we had a very hot September, 
an unprecedented September heat wave of 33.2. It literally has beaten all of the summer months, which was quite surprising. And then, of course, is after that unprecedented hot weather event in September, which gave the hottest temperature ever recorded in an autumn month, something other than summer. In fact, this is probably like, you know, the second time, in my opinion, you know, since 2016. And actually, I do think it really has been much more hotter than the summer itself. Although, I kind of guess that, you know, not 2021, but more like 2023 has beaten the record of such hot weather. And it really has beaten um, so much than, you know, July and August, or even June for that matter. And even more so, if I'm being completely and utterly honest, I remember there was a heat wave back in September of 2016, and blimey, that was also one of the hottest uh, Septembers on record. That was very, very much something. And that trend has continued so far this month, but, oh yes, I'm quite curious somehow, but um, it's something. I don't know, there's some snowy scenes. Ah, likely to be, un well... They're going to be very unlikely. Well, even though it's going to be very cold, it's going to be unlikely to the, to be the norm. And um, obviously that, straightforward, is something to do with climate change. And I definitely say it to myself. And But to uh, hey, you know, time will obviously tell about how long the cold weather will last all the way towards December. But um, what Christmas is going to be quite impossible what I can work off. Anyways, let me just take a look at this. And yeah, look at that. Got some beautiful scenes of some autumnal... Um, got some autumnal scenes. Look how beautiful those scenes. It looks like something out of Canada. Going by these um, trees. I mean, look at the red, the orange, and the yellows, and all that other colour contrast. You know, brown. And I mean, green's still prevalent, but wow, this is amazing. Look how amazing that is. So beautiful, these. Um, it's so nice that the wetter than usual summer has made it so, so beautiful. I mean, look at the trees. They look so colourful. Anyone noticing of just how amazing it really is? It's, it's so great. It's so good, isn't it? And, you know, the ex excessive moisture and the gradual shift to cooler weather extended the autumn magic in 2023 has been amazing. And it's interesting that we've just gone for a very wet summer. And what was also surprising was, oh, I didn't notice there's some greens here, but greens more to do with, you know, summertime, of course, and even springtime. But, oh my goodness, look how beautiful they are. There's so much autumnal leaves, and that's just chronically amazing. It's so beautiful. You know, it's so different to, you know, last year's summer, you know, of course, yes, it was interesting, but, um, yeah, that was actually quite interesting. It's quite interesting with these, um, scenes, it does look quite nice, and I mean, last year's drought has been quite grim for those trees, uh, because, you know, during the summer of 2023, they actually finally got the chance to hydrate and gear up for what we've got. It's beautiful. I'm not sure how much global warming and climate change is going to hamper the way these scenes are going to be like. But I can tell you what, blimey, those scenes are fantastic. And I tell you what, um, you'll be hardly um, impressed to see these because given that climate change is killing what we all need for, and that is rain, well, that's something. Anyways, I think that's probably about it in this video. I just hope you guys are staying relatively warm, well, in this video as I'm making here, and also towards like the very end of the year. It's, it's going to be this trend, but I don't know how cold is it going to be like. Probably thinking otherwise. So, please give this video a like, subscribe for more for flat videos in the future. And it's just a random video on YouTube, actually. Actually, before I should properly end the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's actually causing this cold snap. I'm very, very curious. Okay, the cold snap has been caused by this deep area of low pressure in the west of Scandinavia and Russia. And guess what's happening? And this is actually kind of similar to what we've seen before in 
in previous times. Like I'm pretty sure like during summertime it's never a good sign if you want hot weather. If you have high pressure up standing, you know, extending up as far as Greenland and Iceland, that's never a good sign because that's actually forcing the jet stream to become well, not just a position southwards, but also bring out some very cold temperatures. That can also be a perfect stir up for some snowy conditions, isn't it? But I don't think we're going to be that likely. Not really. Anyways, I think that's about it. As always, thanks for watching again. And bye for now.